Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. In this video, we shall discuss the solutions of exercise 11.3 of trigonometry chapter from question number 3. Okay, so question number 1 and 2 I have discussed in the earlier video and for solving these concepts, we need the concept of uh, complementary angles. Okay, so I have discussed that concept very clearly in the concept video. So you can find the video by clicking on the I button. Okay, so I'll just pin it up here so you can click on the I button and watch those videos. Okay, so now let's get started. So the first, yeah, third question is if tan 2a is equals to cot a minus 18 where 2a is an acute angle you have to find the value of a okay so what is given so given tan 2a is equals to cot a minus 18 okay so this is given now we know that we have learned that tan 90 minus theta is what it is cot theta isn't it tan 90 minus theta is cot theta? Yes. So, here, can I write this as? So, and we know cot 90 minus theta is tan theta. Tan and cot are complementary to each other. Isn't it? We have learned this. Okay. So, any of these two angles you can change. Okay. Either you can change tan or you can change cot. Okay. So, you can do it in two methods. Okay. So, let me change. Let me change this tan to A okay so tan 2a i want to change okay you can also change cot i'm changing tan okay so tan 2a i can write it as cot 90 minus 2a okay using what using this trigonometric complementary angles okay so this one i have used so tan theta is nothing but cot 90 minus theta here in the place of theta you have 2a so tan 2a is equals to cot 90 minus 2a okay so let us let us solve this okay so substitute tan 2a is 90 minus 2a cot 90 minus 2a here so you have cot 90 minus 2a okay so in the place of tan 2a i'm writing cot 90 minus 2a using this okay is equals to cot a minus 18 okay now you can see both are cot ratios okay both are in cot Okay, so and it is given that 2a is an acute angle. So this implies you can just remove cot. Okay, you can remove the ratio and you can equate the angles. Okay, so it is 90 minus 2a is equal to a minus 18. Okay, so what do you have finally? 90 minus 2a is a minus 18. Okay, so now just see, let me send this minus 2a to other side. So it is 90 is equals to a minus 18 plus 2a minus 2a going to other side becomes plus 2a let me send this minus 18 to this side so 90 plus 18 is equals to a plus 2a is 3a okay so this is nothing but 108 is equals to 3a so i want the value of a so a is nothing but 108 divided by 3 okay so it is 3 ones are 3 3 3 is a 9 so it is 6 so a is nothing but 36 got it so what are we doing it you you see that tan and cot are complementary to each other so tan 90 minus theta is cot theta or cot 90 minus theta is tan theta so you can use any one of this so using this you can change tan to a as tan to a is equals to cot 90 minus 2a okay i'm using this second one okay so you can see both are in cot now so you can equate the angles and get the value of a okay you can also change this cot the second method is you can use this one the first one and you can change this cot to tan okay here in maths any method is correct okay provided provided you are sticking to the basics okay so these are the basics we have learned how to prove them also the complementary angles isn't it so stick on to the basics and you can use any method right to solve come on so here's the next question is if tan a is equals to cot b where A and B are acute angles, you have to prove that A plus B is 90 degrees, okay? So, what is given? Given tan A is equals to cot B, okay? So, just now also we have proved what is it. So, you know tan theta, you can write it as cot 90 minus theta, yes? So, using this tan A, I can write it as cot 90 minus A, isn't it? So, let us use it. 
So using this, this is standard, I can write it as cot 90 minus A. Okay, is equals to cot B you have. Okay, now these two are cot, cot ratios and here you can see a, uh, you have it as acute angles. A and B are acute angles. Okay, that means you can equate the angles. So 90 minus A is equals to B. Okay, you have two cots here on either side of the equation. Uh, so you can equate the angles. Okay, since they are acute angles. So 90 minus A is B. So send A to the other side. So it becomes plus A. So 90 is equals to A plus B. This is what you have to prove. Proof A plus B is 90 degrees, isn't it? So, very simple. So, this tan, you will change it into cot. Okay. So, changing into cot and then you, you can see you have two cots on either side of the equation. So, just equal the angles. Right. So, let us move on to the next question. If A, B, C are interior angles of a triangle A, B, C, then show that tan A plus B divided by 2 is equal to cot C by 2. Okay. What is given? Given that A, B, C are interior angles of a triangle okay so they are angles of triangle so we know that angles of a triangle sum of angles of a triangle is what it is 180 isn't it so a plus b plus c is 180 okay so now you have here here just see what what, what you have to prove you have to prove that a plus b divided by 2 is equals to c by 2 i'm just taking the angles i'm not seeing tan and cot Okay, just see the angles A plus B divided by 2 is equal to cot C by 2. So, what we will do? So, A plus B you keep it on this side is equal to C you send it to other side because here you have A plus B only. Okay, so this becomes 180 minus C. Right? Now, here you see you have A plus B divided by 2 and C divided by 2. Okay, so let us divide these two by 2. Okay, so it becomes A plus B divided by 2 is equal to 180 minus C divided by 2. Okay. So, this I can write as A plus B divided by 2 is equal to. So this is 180 divided by 2 minus C divided by 2. Okay. So, you have A plus B divided by 2 is equal to. So 180 divided by 2 is 90 minus C by 2. Okay. Now, now just see here what you have. You have tan. Okay. Tan of A plus B by 2. So, just apply tan on both the sides. So, tan A plus B divided by 2 is equals to tan 90 minus C by 2. Okay. And we know that here you can see it is tan 90 minus theta form. Now, tan 90 minus theta. What is tan 90 minus theta? You know, tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. Isn't it? So, let us use this. So, we know tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. So, let us write it. So, here you have tan A plus B by 2. Don't change this. Z equals to tan 90 minus C by 2. So, in the place of theta, you have C by 2. So, it will become cot C by 2. Got it? So, this is what you have to prove. Isn't it? Tan A plus B divided by 2 is cot C by 2. Okay? So, what are we doing? Firstly, since the given condition is they are the integral angles of the triangle, you know A plus B plus C is 180. Okay, so from the from what you have to prove, you have to prove a plus b divided by 2 is c by 2. So, I which means that I have to think that c I have to send it to other side. So, I'm sending c to other side here. I'll, I'll have only a plus b. Now, you have a plus b divided by 2. So, let us divide the both the sides by 2. Okay, now simply you know by complementary angles. So, you'll have this right. So, let us move on to the next one. Express sine 75 cos 65 in terms of trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 and 45. So, how will you do that? Now, you have to express them between 0 and 45. Okay. So, you know very simple this is. So, let us write the given. So, given sine 75 degrees plus cos 50, 65 degrees. You have this. Okay. So, you have to express this in trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 and 45. So, how shall we do this? So, sine you change it to cos and cos you change it to sine. So, you know that the complementary angles are what they are. The sum of the two angles should be 90. Okay. So, 90 minus 75 if I do, what will I get? What will I get? So, just see 90 minus 75 is nothing but just see. So, I am getting 15. Okay. So, 90 minus 75 is 15. Is this 15 less than between 0 and 45? Yes. Again, let us let us check 90 minus 65. This angle, let me see. So, yes, this is 25. 
Now, 25 is also between 0 and 45. Okay, so these are the angles which I should get. Okay, so now let us change this. So, sine 75, I can write it as, let, let, let me write the angles here. So, sine theta, I can write it as cos 90 minus theta. Isn't it? Sine theta, you can write as cos 90 minus theta. And you have cos also. So, cos theta, you can write it as sine 90 minus theta. Okay. So, and 90 minus this particular angle is giving you 15. 90 minus this angle is giving you 25. Okay. You have verified this answer. So, these steps you will do before solving the problem. So, that you, you can check whether you are on the right track or not. Okay. So, come on. So, using these two ratios, okay, the, these two complementary angles, let us write sine 75. So, sine theta is cos 90 minus theta. Sine 75 is cos 90 minus 75. You have plus, write it, cos theta. Cos theta is sine 90 minus theta. Cos 65 is sine 90 minus 65. Got it? So, simply sine I am changing into cos. Cos I am changing into sine using the trigonometric complementary angles okay so cos you have cos 90 minus 75 is what it is 15 so this is cos 15 plus sine 90 minus 65 is what it is 25 okay so you have changed these ratios okay you, you have you have written the angles between 0 and 45 isn't it? So, you have expressed them in trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 and 45. Simply sign I change to cos, cos I change to sign. Okay. Before that, I checked if 90 minus this angle is between 0 and 45. Yes, it is. So, 90 minus this angle is 25, which is between 0 and 45, which means I have to change between sign to cos, cos to sign. Okay. Because I know sine theta is cos 90 minus theta. So, this 90 minus this angle I can use when, when I can change sign to cos got my point so this is how you have to think while you're doing the problems and i hope this video is helpful for you okay so if yes if yes give this video a very big thumbs up share this channel to all your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because a lot more interesting content is coming up and thanks for watching